long Bahamas. This week on Sail Away, we say goodbye to the Bahamas and head out across the Gulf Stream to the east coast of Florida once again. We're 15 minutes away and it's gonna rain. I wanna sail away. I wanna sail away. Do you wanna sail away with me today? Do you wanna sail away? Last week we woke up to a stormy birthday for me, and I proceeded to try to cut my own toe off. My toe went right in a hole in the toe rail. That's why they call it toe rail, I guess. But we had a beautiful transit to West End Grand Bahama. We are leaving West End after a rough night of anchoring. The anchorage outside of Bahama Bay Marina looked like it was gonna be smooth. <laughs> looked nice. Really our only option because we couldn't stay at the marina. But there was current flowing out of the anchorage off the shelf into the Gulf Stream and back. And really like wind. So we wound up like turning sideways the very mild roll coming in off the Atlantic was hitting us and making us just pitch around like crazy. It was the most uncomfortable anchoring we've done the entire trip and maybe ever. So we did not get a whole lot of sleep. The boat did finally turn into the wind and that put the stern to the waves so we uh, rode a little bit better. but. Uh, we only got a few hours of sleep. And we had to get going early this morning so that we can make it to the St. Lucie Inlet um, well before dark. Um, we don't want to go in that one at night because we don't know it well and it, it's, it's a little shallow, but it, it works. It's kind of how we all feel right now. Too long, Bahamas. Way on our crossing back to Stewart. So far it's going very, very well. I think we've all kind of gotten over our initial grumpiness. We're all doing well now. Uh, we're a solid third of the way across. Started over there, West End. You can see the curvature of our track there as the Gulf Stream starts to kick in and push us north towards Stewart. We should have no problem tracking up to Stewart, I don't believe. Beautiful out here. Real gentle rolling waves, not much wind. So we're just kind of motoring along with a little bit of sail help. I expect we'll probably be back uh, in the Stewart area, uh, in the vicinity of the channel, probably by about 6 p.m. Or something like that at the latest 
and hopefully safe and sound in our dock by about 7. Right now it's just deep, deep blue, beautiful water. And so far a very smooth passage. I uh, realized we never gave you a medical update on my toe. It's still, uh, still hanging on there. Bandaged up. I have not looked at it yet. It hurts if I touch it, and it tingles sometimes. So I think I probably severed some some nerves or something. Um, I've been trying to keep it elevated and take ibuprofen to make sure no swelling comes up. With use some uh, antibiotic ointments on it so it's not it doesn't feel too bad once we get to shore <laughs> take the bandage off and see what it looks like and then decide whether to seek medical advice or just let it go I sure as hell don't care about a scar on my toe so as long as it heals up with no infection or anything I'm good I think it'll be fine little update. We are at least two-thirds of the way uh, for the whole trip back. I just wanted to show you <laughs> the Gulf Stream. We're kind of out in the middle of it right now. Um, yeah, we're a little more toward the U.S. than we are the Bahamas. But this is a benign day. There's been no wind. There's been nothing. And there wasn't any other kind of wind in the days leading up to this that was adverse. And yet, out here in the middle of the stream, you can see what we got going on here. Probably sets of waves that are, I'd say, three feet, but with no sails up. They're rocking us all over the place. And then every once in a while, we'll get a couple of real big ones. Uh, yeah, relatively speaking, like five, six feet. And this is with, you know, no adverse weather. something floating in the water and we have to go see what it is. Floating. What is, it? is, it is it Mostly I think it's a dead body because I listen to too much true crime podcasts. Yeah. And I mostly think it's a box of something extremely valuable. But in this case... In this case it is a balloon! Yeah. I'm a set of balloons. Last time it was a box. Just a box. Yeah. Well, at least this time we got some trash out of the ocean. Yeah. Thank goodness. We're 15 minutes away and it's gonna rain. We got our pants back on. Uh, oh yeah, you put your pants back on too. I'm proud of you. You wanna you want me to read the St. Lucie Inlet? Do it. Here's what it says on the chart. St. Lucie Inlet, caution. Channel buoys are not charted because of the constant shifting of the channel. Passage through the inlet is not recommended without local knowledge of all hazardous conditions affecting this area. So we'll see. We've never done it. We've never done it. Before. We're locals, but it doesn't count. Yeah, our, our friends who are locals go in and out of it all the time, and they do joke that it's kind of shallow and having bumps here and there once or twice occasionally. But I haven't heard any like, yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah. So we may be going in the inlet in a thunderstorm.
Any concerns we had about the St. Lucie Inlet turned out to be much ado about nothing. It was plenty deep and really easy to navigate. Plus, we had really good weather to do it. Too soon, we found ourselves back at our temporary home in Stewart, and already plotting our next destination. As always, thanks for watching. Please give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and ring the little bell right next to the button so you get notifications of our upcoming videos every week. Cheers!